Jesse submitted a question on onecn.com slash contact asking me what do I think about parents who force Ritalin on their children. Um, I'm going to cover this in, a, in kind of a general sense, just drugs in general and uh, parents forcing them on their kids. For me, you okay? You okay? Um, for me, parents need to take responsibility. They can't just drug their kids up and act like the problem doesn't still exist. You know, uh, drugs are a temporary fix. Once they wear off, here comes the problem. A more solid solution to a lot of problems in my life has been conversation, talking these issues out, maybe even giving someone the attention they need. Maybe disciplining them in a new way. Maybe just approaching it at a new angle. Because clearly there's something wrong in the life of whoever's taking these drugs. There's something that needs to be fixed. I'm not saying it'll universally be fixed by conversation or a change in scenario. But what I'm saying is that you should exercise your options before being so lazy as to resort to drugs. Because when people just resort to drugs right away, it's like... You're messing with these people's brains. Who knows what they could do to these individuals in the long run? There are so many variable cases out there, especially with me and my acne meds when I had that hallucination. That was such a rare variable. I don't know if... Sometimes I'm not even sure if I'm using words right. I'm trying. Um, so yeah, guys, just... Just, I mean... <laughs> How would you, just put yourself in their shoes, how would you feel if you were the kid and your parents, your parents say, hey, we're going to put you on drugs. Oh, you don't love me the way I am. That's what that says to me. Like my dad, he tried to put my sister on drugs. I felt like my dad didn't love my sister for who she was. It's like them saying, you're annoying. I don't want to deal with you anymore. I want a drugged up fake you. I don't love you for who you are. That's what that says to me. Parents, just please reconsider, you know, putting your kids on drugs. Just please. Because, I mean, that's just a whole new stage of abuse if you're just telling your kid they're not good. They're not right the way they are. Figure out some way to handle the problem outside of drugs. If they're just completely bonkers, like they're just a bad seed or whatever your, whatever phrase you want to use to refer to them, yeah, maybe after all your trials and crap, you have to resort to those things. I don't know. I've never been through it. I'm not going to say you're 100% wrong for doing something that I've never been through and I've never seen. But I will say that you should exercise your options before resorting to such a unfortunate act, drugging your kids up. I went on head drugs for a little bit. They didn't affect me because I wasn't on them long enough. What I did was I found out what I wanted in life, and I went for it. And for some reason, because I did that, because I stopped letting crap get to me, because I stopped letting crap in my life, because I started living for myself and those I love, for some reason, all my depression went away. The doctor said that, it, oh, it was going to come back. That this isn't just this scenario I was currently in, that I, would, I wouldn't be able to cure it. I did. Because I knew what I wanted in life, and I knew what would make me happy. I turned it around. But I know this is just off on a tangent. Anyway, um, just love your kids, guys. Love them for who they are, you know? And try to figure out a way to love them for who they are if the things aren't working out. <laughs> Approach them in a new way. Alright, I've talked too much. Bye.